I'm really happy to be here this morning to see all of you here. Um, really, really good attendance, so well done. Um, I work for the National IT Partnership in Derby City Centre, part of the Aspire Achievement Advance Group. Um, it's a brand new academy. We only just started our academy in September last year. Um, and we actually have 20 academies throughout the country, um, starting obviously from the top of the country all the way down to the bottom in every city centre going forward. Um, we offer a variety of different apprenticeships, including IT, um, social media, digital marketing, and accountancy programmes, um, which I'm going to be telling you about shortly. Um, my job role within the academy is learn or intake. So after finishing your education here at school, um, depending on what you decide to do going forward, you may decide that an apprenticeship is right for you. Um, and I personally don't do that because um, it's my job and what I'm told to do. I actually did an apprenticeship myself and I left school and it's helped me to get to where my career is today. It's a really, really valuable decision to make because not only will it give you your education and continue with that education to make your occupation competent in the workplace, but it will also provide you with income and also provide you with work experience to make you more credible to you. Um, with regards to our qualification in particular, it is our take, so we do that, that field and that genre, but there is a multiple different genres that you could go into in the field of IT. Um, Amy here, Amy has produced some slides that she wants to tell you about some of those job roles in more detail, which we'll go through later. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, this is oh. and in the social media and digital marketing. Um, and these are what I consider to be the advantages. Um, you get to earn money, which is more than pocket money for those of you that actually get pocket money and your parents feel like they want to. Um, work experience, uh, this is one of the things that I found really difficult because when I came out of school and I went to college, after college I decided university wasn't for me, so I came out with no experience and it was really difficult, so the fact that you get work experience with an apprenticeship is really important. No debt, this is one of the biggest things, is that it's now almost nine grand to go for one year at university, which, you know what, that seems like not a lot of money, but I went for three weeks and I've got three grand of debt on me, so that tells you how much, how important it is, that if you need what you want, make sure it's what you want before you go, because I wasn't certain and now, I've got to pay for it basically and I've got no qualification for that. So make sure that it's what you want. And if it's not what you want, an apprenticeship might be for you and it might benefit you in the long term. Um, it's easy transaction. I found it really difficult coming out of school, going into college. So I find it even more difficult going from school to work. So they make it really easy. Laura, Matt at the back, who's filming us. Turn around and say hi, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so it made it easier for me because I can just turn to them when I need support and help. And I also work in the office, so they help me out all the time. <laughs> um, I've got some Oh yeah, qualification. Um, you do come out with a diploma, which is always a good thing because sometimes you know work experience doesn't speak for everything and you're like pieces of paper. So you get a qualification with your name on it and you get to present it in a nice way to get and show people what you've done. Um, Oh yeah, the prospect of a full-time job afterwards. Most of our employers, we try to get sustainable jobs so that after you finish your apprenticeship, they take you on. And that's the aim of the apprenticeship, is to make sure that you get a job at the end of it. And these are the things that we currently do at the Derby Academy. So we do an IT apprenticeship with the possibility of a nice manager, web coders, programmers and more. This one, I particularly like because you get to choose a strand, and there's three different strands, you'll probably forget them. IT, uh, technical, web programming, or software development. Um, these ones mean that you can go into the specific areas that you like, depending on what you're interested in, so you don't have to just specialise in one thing. IT is not just what it is. When I was at school, I thought IT was just IT and I didn't really see the importance of it, but now working with it, I see that there's actually a lot more jobs that we can see that you can get there. So we can do
you might do in this new type of um, Working with Twitter and Facebook, or the people that do that, because most of you do. <laughs> and I enjoy it most because you get a reward out of it. We speak to a lot of people and engage through Twitter and Facebook, and it is really rewarding all the time, every day. Um, this is a blog that we started. Uh, it's called The Life of an Apprentice. It basically has lots of different articles to do with uh, lots of things like money, um, spending issues, uh, like getting into jobs, applying, CV writing, all these types of things so that if you're worried about anything going into the world of work, it will most probably have something on that. I'm pretty sure that if you ask one of the core tutors, they can email me if you have any questions that you'd like to answer, anything that you want to see on that, that you'd quite like to have some information about. So you can just talk to your chiefs about that afterwards. Mm. Uh, this is the thing. Obviously, Tom's not really a cat, but I'll just add that picture. Um, Tom is, he's my boss, and he did accountancy apprenticeship. He came out of it, and because he got the work experience, he's now um, manager of operations support. So just because you're doing a project in one thing doesn't mean that you can't handle your job on this. Um, he also manages IT support and social media butler, which are two really different areas. Social media butler is a company within three days. It's a web and marketing company. We uh, have worked really hard on it. And the website, which I don't know if we can actually get onto, is actually a work of one of our apprentices. Which is one to Ben, which also is a club. Um, he's our web coder and web developer. He works really hard. He did the level three course, he's now on the level four course. He's done over three websites for us. He's worked really hard and he started in IT support, just doing the odd admin role, etc. etc. And then he realised that he actually had a specialty, so he's now doing web design for social media bola and for three A's. And then we have Chris. Chris is our IT support. So he's currently <coughs> due to complete his apprenticeship with us and continuing with us. He deals with inquiries, anything IT related. I usually go to the printer because that's always an issue, always an issue. Um, but he's due to complete and he really likes it and hopefully he will change. Uh, and Jamal. Jamal is also our IT support apprentice. But he's, he's a little bit more unique in the fact that he's actually got his own web server company that he started since doing his apprenticeship. And I think that it was his role as an apprentice that made him feel like he had the courage to do it. And he's actually not doing too badly at the moment. I can't remember the name of it because you guys are all looking at me and that makes me forget things. Um, but it's really good and uh, it's something that he's willing to progress. And therefore, one day, we'll probably be back here telling you about how he's like directing the, the company and all this kind of thing. Uh, another thing, obviously, I'm definitely not a cat, but I'm not a cat as well. Um, we deal with social media platforms, web design, marketing materials. So when Ben decides he doesn't want to do the design work, I do it. So uh, I work on things like helping with plugins, uh, putting news stories onto websites, that kind of thing. And deal with Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all these different things, and they're not just what you write in the morning, God, I can't be bothered to get out of bed, kind of things. You write things to employers, you write to let people know that you're there to get presents and that kind of thing. And the companies are finding that more and more useful because this is the day, this is the age where social media has become the new way of marketing. You may find that leaflets aren't really everything. Most leaflets have QR codes which take you to a website, which again is social media marketing. So maybe if you all like it and you're attached to your phone, so you can follow it your um, you might find that it's maybe a project for you. This is the next and I feel very strongly about this because this is a project with Derby City Council and National Friendship Service. Um, it's an event where we have sessions and there's going to be four sessions which will help you with CV writing, applying for an apprenticeship, uh, prep for interview and success. We are doing session three which is prep for interviews. We have a really good video of how to act in an interview and how not to act in an interview. 
um, and it will help you in the long term if you can just if you can decide what the friendship is for you, if it's not for you, you should also get to meet some of the staff, talk to them, see if, see if it is for you, if it's something that you'd be interested in, just in case you're not too sure about university.